Hello and welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport and welcome to FM22 with Old Man Phil and if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and tickle the bell and all that stuff so that you can help the channel to grow and follow us on our journey as Newport County try to go from rags to riches maybe. And if you have been following along, you'll know that we've had a dreadful February and a semi-recovery during the month of March. And as we head into April, we have some quite tricky fixtures around about Swindon and Crawley. And I really don't know how this season is going to pan out as we move through April. And so as we head into April, even though we are in not so great form at the moment, we are still seven points clear um, of our nearest rivals, Bristol Rovers and Swindon. But although we're fairly optimistic, I do know FM. On the plus side though, we have signed Timmy Abraham from Fulham for a fee of £57,000. He has been in outstanding form for us on loan this season and we decided that this boy could turn in to a very good player indeed. So watch this space. And we have also had our first youth intake and we had some very good news where we've picked up this 16 year old lad, Dion Ford, who looks like an incredible prospect. But also I was very impressed um, by Jeff Brown, a striker in the trial. And so we have a couple of young lads who are well worth developing. And so April began with a home game against Exeter, a must win game, and that's what happened. We won that game by two goals to nil, and that was very quickly followed by an away trip to Bradford City where we actually never showed up at all, and that ended up as a 1-1 draw. And then finally the big game against Swindon. Um, we just never showed up in the races for that one at all and we lost that one by two goals to one. And so we can afford no more slip-ups at home to Crawley. But once again, injuries had taken its toll and we had serious problems which we'd had all through the season at wing back. And uh, we needed to be very, very careful um, when selecting the team for Crawley. And so the team lined up with Day in goal, Farkasson, Clark and Dimitru in defence with Cameron Norman and Aaron Lewis, both of whom were not fully fit at wing backs. Upson and Dolan in midfield with Cooper, Collins and Abraham up front. And so the game is underway and this is a very important game for Newport. It's been a very quiet opening and Newport have been no threat at all as we are going into what is now the first 10 minutes of play and we will of course be keeping an eye on all the other scores that are relevant but Crawley have a free kick and that's headed away and here comes Abraham. Abraham picks it up and he stops finds Dimitru. Dimitru He's looking for Dolan, and Dolan fields Abraham, who feeds Collins over the top, and Collins is in, and that is a divine finish by Collins. Exactly what we needed, and it's Newport 1, Crawley 0, and what a great start. Dimitru finds Dolan, and Abraham, what vision, and Collins, the young lad, chips it sweetly over the onrushing goalkeeper. What a fantastic start. We couldn't have hoped for anything better. And so Crawley have a free kick. And that is a chance and he's totally unmarked at the near post. And it's still Newport 1, Crawley 0. We will be keeping an eye on the other results and there has been a goal for Forest Green as Crawley have a free kick and that's a great save by Day. No, it actually clipped the post and went out for a goal kick. Yes, as I said, there's been a goal at Forest Green, so we need to maintain what we're doing and there's been a goal at Swindon. 
Um, I am aware that we are giving away too many fouls. There's too many yellow cards. So, oh, that was a chance for Abraham, and he hits the crossbar. So we've actually taken away the get stuck in instruction because there's one, two, three yellow cards. So um, that's probably not a bad idea, not a bad thing to do. We need to consolidate this lead, but I'd like to have um, a second goal. Um, and some, do I go more attacking? What am I going to do in the second half? I'm also looking that Lewis and Norman are getting fairly tired. But at half time, it's Newport 1, Crawley 0. And so we've made no changes, but if we are seeing our wing backs, both of them are unfit, and it, I think change needed to be done. And I've taken off Norman, who's very tired, moved Lewis to the right, and Farkasson can play as the wing back on the left. But I'm keeping an eye on Lewis because he's also very, very tired. Um, I'm struggling to work out what to do with that. Bennett finds Lewis. Lewis looks for Upson. Upson into Collins. Collins feeds it back to Lewis. Lewis with a ball into the box and Dolan's header whistles past the post. Um, I could really do with this second goal. We're going to have to take Lewis off at wing back, which means we're going to have to go to a back four now. Um, they are trained for this. We've used it before. Um, we'll see how that affects the game. And so with 65 minutes left, there's not really much going on. Um, Day has the ball. And he fires it out to Dimitru, who's rather wide for my liking on the left. He should be a little bit narrower than that. Here's Dolan. Dolan feeds Abraham. Abraham is looking for Collins, but that's well defended. And uh, Crawley bring the ball forward. And here's Frost. And that's well challenged by Cooper, and he's stolen the ball. And he passes inside to Clark. Clark to Collins. Collins now feeds Kane. Kane to Bennett. Bennett to Clark. Upson. Kane looks for Cooper, and this is more like it. We're passing the ball around really nicely. They seem very comfortable in this formation, and it may be that four at the back is what we will see the gay the rest of the season out um, for the next four games. Upson. Upson looks for Dolan. Dolan finds Collins, and Collins has scored, and that's the second goal. Uh, but I think the linesman has his flag up. It's not going to count. And so it's, if we just look at the replay, it's so marginal. I would have let that go because that was a super goal. And it's still Newport 1, Crawley 0. And so with 79 minutes gone and Dolan is looking very tired and I'm going to have to bring on Livermore the young boy um, and hopefully he won't let the side down either and so it's a goal kick to Crawley we're holding on to this 1-0 scoreline here comes Livermore Livermore Livermore's in the clear can he look inside yes he can and here's Abraham Abraham has scored and that is a fantastic goal and Abraham has made it Newport 2, Crawley nil. The second goal has arrived. My nerves were getting a bit frayed, but Livermore, what a substitution that was. Livermore in the clear, inside, finds Abraham, who buries it in the bottom corner. And it's now Newport 2, Crawley nil. And I've just noticed that Forest Green and Barrow is now 3-3 and Swindon are still ahead in their game. And as Newport build another attack and here comes Kane. Kane picks up the loose ball. He finds Farkasson. Farkasson looking for Bennett. Bennett to Clark. This has been a fantastic performance by Newport. I couldn't have asked any more from the boys. Cooper looks for Livermore. Livermore, who's had such an impact. And here's Collins, and it's 3-0. What a brilliant finish. But the linesman has his flag up again. 
And that is another disallowed goal. There's been a series of these in recent weeks. Um, but it doesn't matter on this occasion as it's Newport who are leading. Here comes Livermore. Livermore tries to feed in Collins, but again, that's nicely cleared up at the back. And there's just a few minutes left. We just have to see this game out now as Farkerson. He feeds Livermore. Livermore back to Kane. And that's Collins. Can Collins get this? Yes, he can. He feeds Abraham. And that's unfortunate. And Crawley can get the ball clear. And here come Crawley, working their way down that right-hand side. But that's easily stolen by Farkerson. And that's the full-time whistle. And at full-time, it's Newport 2, Crawley nil. And there was also a very dramatic game at Barrow where Forrest Green eventually only drew 3-3. And with Swindon winning 2-0 at Harrogate, we remain five points clear at the top of the league with four games to go. But this is still a problem because even if we win the next two games, it's unlikely that those two will lose both of their games. So it's, I think probably we will be back around about the away at Port Vale game if there is a chance that we can win the title during that game. If not, it will be the final game of the season. And so it continues, and as I suspected, I think this is going to go right to the wire. And can we do it? Let's hope so. If you liked the video, then give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell, so you'll be updated as we upload our daily videos. And all that remains now to say is see you in the next game.